Hey, I am here to teach you three creative ways to get conversations. I'm Kim Kasparian. If you are new to me and my page, I'm a mindset and business strategist who works with successful business owners who want sustainable, sellable businesses. That's what we do. And why do they want that? Because um, if you are a business owner, you dream, you crave freedom and flexibility. That is what universally most every business owner wants on the planet. They dream, we dream, you dream of having a lifestyle that affords you the flexibility and freedom to do what you love with whom you love anywhere, anytime. The challenge is that too many of you brilliant, talented business owners don't exactly have that. You imagined a playground of profit and fun, getting things done, and what you might be experiencing is a job. Yes, you don't have an external boss breathing down your neck anymore, although sometimes you feel your clients are that, even though you love them, but you're like, oh my God, everyone's calling my name. And you may feel like you've created a golden prison, right? A golden prison, meaning you're making good money, right? You should be happy, but you're not because there is no flexibility. There is no freedom. You're CEO, chief of everything. And you're frustrated, you're burnt out and you're like, there's gotta be a better way. And sometimes maybe you're not quite fully booked and you're always figuring out where my next conversation is going to be. Or you're like, you had an incredible month and you should be like celebrating going, yay. And all your mind is thinking, oh my God, I got to do it again next month. What am I going to do? Where is it going to come from? That's the problem that uh, Angelus and I solve. So for the month of March, I'm coming here almost every day um, with the exception of Sundays, uh, which is my day off and Mondays, which I do tutorials on this in our free business group, Business Owners Growing to Seven Figures, Business Owners Growing to Seven Figures. And I just did um, a tutorial on how to create your 10 word marketing statement, which is the first tool you need to get conversations. So if you wanna find out more about that, go to the room or you can DM me and say, Kim, can I have an invitation to the room? Yes, you may. So today I wanna to take the stress off of you and introduce to you three creative ways to get a conversation because believe it or not, even my established, brilliant, talented superstars sometimes get their knickers in a twist going, oh my God, where am I, who am I gonna have a conversation with? Where am I gonna have a conversation? I don't know where to go, especially if you were a nose to nose, knees to knees kind of girl or guy, um, you might be thinking, well, I can't go out to a business after hours or networking meeting. How do I create a conversation? So have no fear, your genie is here. And uh, if you want to, you can get a piece of paper because I'm gonna be dropping it down for you real right now. So um, everything I teach, I keep it simple. I'm always talking about one of these four categories, because if you grow your business and you want a sustainable business, you can just categorize everything in your business into four things. Mindset, marketing, management, money. Mindset, marketing, management, money. So keep it simple. And whatever we're going to do, we better have fun, because if it's not fun, it's not getting done. So today I'm talking about one piece of our con turn conversations into clients system. Angelus and I teach business owners how to create sustainable businesses and create uh, repeatable six figure revenues within 12 months in our Accelerate coaching program. So what I'm doing for you in the month of March is I'm taking one piece every day out of one of the seven modules we teach. And today the lucky winner is um, a step out of our turn conversations into clients module. And it's simple. And if you do what I tell you to do, it can be fun and you'll get things done. So 
to make it fun and simple, highly recommend you create, learn how to make sure you have a 10 word marketing statement that basically tells everyone who you are and your title needs to be recognizable to your audience. So who you are, the audience you serve, be as specific as possible, and the juicy result they get after you've done all the wonderful things that you do with them, for them, to them, what's the end result? Okay, what's the Cracker Jack prize in the box? So who you are, make yourself recognizable to them, who your audience is, and the juicy result that you serve. The goal is 10 words or less because when you meet your ideal client or you're in the elevator and like you're the perfect CEO comes in the door and you're like, oh my God, that's who I wanted to meet. You only have 10 seconds to get their attention. And the purpose of a 10 word marketing statement is to make them go, really? That sounds interesting. Tell me more. That's what you want. So all conversations stem from a 10 word marketing statement that if you're working with us, we teach you how to turn that 10 words into a rich, luscious um, marketing content garden. So it maps out any conversation that you ever want to have into uh, bite-sized uh, sound bites, lessons, um, education that you can just organize and have already like all your copy, all your content done a year out. And then you just take it with you. You take it into your conversations, you post it online, you put it on your website and everywhere you go, they, people just hear you saying the same things over and over again. And they're like, you know what? He or she keeps on saying the same thing over and over again. I think I need to talk to them. So this is one of the strategies, right? One of many that we use to help you create a sustainable business where you don't always have to be there all the time, 24 seven. So that's an overview. So let's hone in and start the first thing, which is let's get you some conversations, okay? So three ways you can create a conversation. Three reasons to have a conversation. And always, and I always teach people how to do conversations from, just remember this, connect, connect, communicate, convert. Connect, communicate, convert. So the purpose of me teaching you any of this is for you to be able to authentically connect, communicate your value in a way that people go, can I come in and listen to that? So that's why I'm having this conversation with you. There's three reasons why to have a conversation. A, prospects, no shame in that. You want to have clients. Also a great way to have be a resource to other people is to have resources to share that you trust and that you know are necessary for your audience's growth and well-being. Sometimes people reach out to you not because they necessarily need you right now, but they need who you know. And if you build a reputation of knowing really good people and being generous enough to refer them when needed, you become a top priority on everyone you know, everyone you know's list. Um, this is a good way, like again, sustainable businesses. Sometimes when you can't sell what you got, you can sell what other people got. And a version of this, you can just give referrals because, hey, that's what you do. Nothing wrong with that. I do that all the time. I just tell my resources, take good care of them because I don't want to kill you. The orange, orange is not the new black for me. So, you know, take good care of them. I'm fine. Also, it's totally appropriate for you to set up affiliate relationships, right? A lot of, in my industry, we always create affiliate re relationships with other coaches, with other people, with, with other rooms, meaning, you know, if they refer anybody to me or I refer anyone to them, they offer a referral fee or some kind of commission or benefit. So one of the ways to make money, even though you're not working all the time, is if you have a barn of resources that you trust, there's a way to make back end money on that. And that's totally fine. Oh, thank you, my darling partner and hubby just made me coffee. Um, so affiliate marketing. I 
most of my conversations a month are basically looking for resources for you, believe it or not. My, I consider my full job finding wonderful, credible resources for you when your needs fall outside of what I can personally do for you because I always want you to be taken care of. So prospects, resources, and you may not recognize this or believe this yet, but there are a lot of people who would be happy to refer you because they know you like you and trust you, but you are not making it easy for them to know what to say or how to connect their audience with you. I'll say that again. I think that's worth saying. I know that you have at least five to 10 people who would be happy to refer you, but you don't ask and or you don't make it easy for them to connect their audience with you. So I'm inviting you to stop that stupid. All right, let's keep everything simple. Let's make everything fun, not only for you, but for our audience. Because there are people who would love to refer you, but they don't know how to explain who you are, what you are, what do you do. That's why a 10 word marketing, marketing statement would serve you oh so well. And when you train other people to say that same thing to other people, it's like, oh my God, can I speak to them? That'd be great. Um, otherwise you're gonna get what I do. I get referrals all the time. And one time I asked my audience who I love, I'm like, listen, I'm redoing my marketing. I'm struggling here. Like, but I should just say what you say because you guys refer me all the time. And this was the wonderful feedback I got. We just tell them to go talk to Angie and Kim, they'll fix it. I'm like, okay. And for them it works because the people that they're referring have absolute trust in them. And they say with such conviction, go talk to Angie and Kim, they'll know what to do. It's difficult to put that on a card, right? If, you did, if no one knows me, you know, talk to me, I'll fix it. Um, but that's how my clients feel about us. That's how our clients feel about us. And they even find it helpful. Oh my God, the 10 word statement, it's worth, I can tell people that, no problem, thank you. So the three reasons, three reasons why you want to have conversations, of course, prospects as Aaron Eberhardt says, let's get real, it's about the order. Okay, Aaron, it's about the order. But it's not just about the order and she knows that um, because she gives wonderful world-class service. Whether you're a large client or a person just buying one thing from her, she rolls out the red carpet. So it's always about serving who's in front of you. It's always about conversations. Conversations are about serving the person in front of you. Serving the person in front of you. And there's a mindset to conversations. There's a strategy to conversations. And there's a skill set to conversations. I just kind of gave you the strategy. Why you even want to have a conversation. You want to get clients. You really want to get resources to share, not only for your, your clients, but for yourself, because as you grow, you're going to need them. And referrals. If you do not have a strategy for getting conversations, you do not have a 10 word marketing statement, you are missing out on Boku referrals. Okay, that's the easiest way to grow your business, right? There's no like, it's not like you got to convince. Like, this is what I hear all the time. Oh my God, I don't want to convince. I don't want to be pushy. That's the wrong mindset. Excuse me, I'm just going to tell you, stop the stupid. Um, you thinking that way is robbing somebody else of their solution because you're up your own stupid. Okay, I'm just telling you, if you guys, if you're, if you're new to me, I'm very direct. I just tell you the way it is. If you are making conversations about you to the point where you are not having conversations, you are robbing somebody who's desperately looking for a solution. You are robbing them from their solution because you will not make yourself available. Okay, I promise you there are people looking for you. They don't know it's you because you're seduced by the stupid. Thinking that you're gonna be pushy, that you have to convince, that no one wants what you need. Not true, contraire mon frere. 
There are people actively looking for you. It's your job to make it easy for them to find you. And I promise you, there are people watching you, listening to you. They're not letting that you know they're watching, they're lurkers, okay, they're lurkers, but they're noticing and they're looking for people who are speaking their language, who are showing up authentically, who actually can communicate value in a very succinct way, simple, and get them to believe and trust that someone out there knows how to solve their problem. You. So you want that, right? So make it a point to develop a strategy, a mindset, and a skill set to do that every day without burning yourself out. Without burning yourself out. I'm going to share with you mine. 30 conversations a month. And they could be a mixture of sales calls, connection calls, get to know you calls, you know, uh, interviewing you to be a resource and, you know, figuring out how we can refer each other. So the three ways to get a conversation is to invite people in to have a sales conversation Okay, maybe you have um, a free report, like I offer a free clarity consult. If you are actively looking for a solution and are not sure which what to do, you can reach out to me and ask me for 30 minutes to give you what I call a clarity consult. It's a very structured call, five questions that create clarity and show you a simple, fun, fast path to what you wanna do. It's free. Sometimes people just need that time with me to see their path and they're good. Other times they're like, Kim, I have my steps, but don't you leave me. I think I need help getting this done. And that turns into a sales call where we figure out, well, where do they fit? What kind of help do they need right now? That's one way to get a conversation, right? Offer something of value, invite them to talk with you, see how you can help them. Um, if you belong to groups, chambers, networking groups, we call them coffee chats. The magic in building relationship is not being in that room once a week. It's having a conversation outside the group saying, hey, tell me more about you. Okay, the business we'll talk about, but tell me more about you. Let's build a common bond. Oh, you have kids, I have kids. Oh, like you raise cats, I raise cats. You know, you've got a, you know, a loud you know, ethnic family, me too. Oh my God, we went to the same school. Do you remember so-and-so? That's happened to me so many times. Like, we don't know how we know each other. We think we're like worlds apart. We ended up going to the same school. We ended up growing up with the same crowd, but we never knew each other. Instant rapport, instant rapport. Um, coffee chats, right? You have, you, you, you are in the same group. You're in the same network. You've never really gotten to know each other. Have a coffee chat. 15 minutes, you talk about you. 15 minutes, they talk about them. See if there's some synergy in the middle. Sometimes you're hot, sometimes you're not, but something always magically comes out of that. You can say to people, I'm interviewing resources for my team, for my community, for my clients. And you know what you do is really interesting. And I think you know a lot of my, my community will need somebody like you. And I really don't have a lot of trust in whom... I don't really have anybody that I know well enough to refer. Would you mind if I get to know you a little bit? Who's going to say no to that? Other thing you can do is called connection calls, reconnection calls, past clients, past colleagues. Call up and just say, hey, I've been thinking about you. It's a new year. What's going on? What are you working on? Love to tell you what I'm doing. And, you know, Keep you in mind as I move forward in my business, if there's anyone that you want to meet too. Who wouldn't love that? Once you start talking, they're like, you know, by the way, it happens all the time. Kim, I was going to call you. I I've been thinking about you too. And either they have a referral for me or they need to come back for whatever reason. That just happened last month. One of my graduates who we keep in touch all the time, she's like, I think I need to come back. And I'm like, yeah, I think you do too. She's like, okay, let's get me set up. So these are very simple ways to get a conversation, okay? I want you to decide, act, and adjust, right? 
Connect, communicate, convert, decide, act, adjust. Simple, have fun, get it done. I always set a goal every month of 30 conversations. 30 conversations, whether they be connection calls, client calls, prospecting calls, resource calls, get to know you calls, they always bring good things. They always create momentum and create acceleration. And I put a system in place that I'm always connecting even when I'm not physically here doing the work. So 30 conversations a month, anyone can do. If you're working your business as a side hustle, 15 minutes is 15 minutes. 15 is fine, but if you are a full-time business owner, don't tell me you don't have time for 30 conversations. Because if you tell me that, I'm gonna tell you stop the stupid. Okay, until you're at a stable six plus figures every single year and you are doing a steady monthly income, no matter what's going on, your only job is to have as many conversations as you can and build systems to eventually do the work for you. And that's why we teach you how to create a content garden, right? So you always have something valuable to say. You always have a structure and a system to get the most out of every conversation you're having, whether it be a connection call, whether it be a sales call, whether it be a referral you know, interview. We want this to be simple and fun and get it done. And it needs to translate to putting six figures, rinse and repeat in your pocket. So that's my story for today. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you liked about this little live. And if you want more, I do live tutorials on Mondays at 10 a.m. in our business owners growing to seven figures. And actually, actually you can join the group by the URL business owners growing to seven figures.com. There's three questions to ask so I can best orientate you and introduce you around to the group. We uh, shamelessly promote on Mondays, network on Tuesdays, share our wisdom on Wednesdays, ask for help on Thursdays, although you can ask for help any day. We talk and become friends on Fridays, we share on Saturdays and we celebrate on Sundays. Rinse and repeat. Um, Love you to be there if you want to kind of network with other movers and shakers and learn this skill set, learn this mindset, master this strategy. Okay, creating conversations is the fastest way to six figures. It's the easiest system to systematize, rinse and repeat, and um, allow a system to bring those conversations to you. I have found um, no one really has a problem having conversations with people who say they're interested. The problem stems from, I don't wanna invite and look at like I'm pushy. I don't wanna convince people. When you have a 10 word marketing statement, there is no convincing. They're, they're either interested or they're not. There is no being pushy. They're interested, they wanna hear more. If you have a content garden, you can never get lost. It's always focused on them. You're constantly reinforcing what, the pro, what you know about them, what they need, what they need to believe, how they need to move forward. And when they hear it over and over and over again from you, it starts to click. You build rapport, you're connecting consistently, you're communicating your value and the problem that you know they have. And you're constantly welcoming and inviting people as they're ready. How simple is that? That's what I want for you. So let me know how you like this live. Tune in tomorrow. I have another topic to help you grow to your seven figures to create your immediate six figure revenue leap. So tune in, let me know what you liked from this live, what you're taking away to use. I'm putting this down so you can pick it up and run with it. And if you need more, if you're like, Kim, I like what you're putting down. I think I need to talk with you. DM me. I'm happy to have a chat with you and see if you know you need a clarity consult or you need a recommended resource. I'm happy to refer you. So until tomorrow, remember, believe and receive. 
success is your birthright. Talk to you tomorrow.